Hi, welcome back to the Circuit Playground Express online workshop. In this section, we're going to learn how to turn your Circuit Playground Express into a human interface device. So that's a keyboard, a mouse, or a gamepad. And when we create this code in make code, it makes your computer automatically recognize the Circuit Playground as a mouse, a keyboard, or gamepad, so your commands are accepted automatically. So let's take a look. I've got a simple sketch on the Circuit Playground that moves the mouse with a button A and B press, and we can see on the screen that my mouse is moving left and right. And then I created a keyboard command that when I press pin A1, it types out some words for me. So you can do just about anything with the Circuit Playground Express as a keyboard or mouse that a normal keyboard or mouse can do. You're just limited to how many inputs that you have on the Circuit Playground. So let's take a look at how to do it. So to, to make our Circuit Playground into a keyboard or mouse, we need to use extensions. So we go into the Advanced option, and down at the bottom we have Extensions. And here we have Gamepad, Keyboard, and Mouse. So to add them, we just click on the button. So now we have a menu for Keyboard, and we have a menu for Mouse. So we'll just, I'll jump over to the sketch that I made earlier. And we see here the sketch that I showed has an if statement for the, when pin A is pressed, we have a keyboard type command, and then you enter in the string of words or single letter that you want to type whenever that, whenever that command is met. And then a pause afterwards, because if you've got a long string and you press the button multiple times, it will overlap them and jumble up your letters, so it's good to have a pause so they don't overlap. And then I have some while loops for when button A is pressed, the mouse will move two pixels in the positive direction on the x-axis, and when B is pressed, it'll move in the negative direction on the x-axis. We can also use the keyboard to we can also emulate media buttons like play, pause, mute. We can do function keys, so like F1 through F12, or just create text strings with commands from the Circuit Playground. And under the mouse option, we can do mouse clicks. So it's important to note that if you do mouse button up, that's unclicked, and mouse button down is clicked. And it's good to use a while loop for mouse uh, mouse commands for the clicks. So if you hold the button, then it holds the mouse click down. So you can, say, drag something across the screen. And the mouse move gives you an option in number of pixels to move the mouse. So if you want to jump a fixed distance, like 200 pixels to the right, then you'd set that in there. If you want to hold the button down and move, have it move around, like a more normal mouse, you'd want it to move one pixel at a time so it can move slow enough to react to. And we can also turn the wheel. So it's good to make mouse programs where you press an input and then something moves rather than something in a loop that moves the mouse around because there's a chance that you could lose control of your computer a little bit where the mouse will just start clicking everywhere and you'll be unable to control it until you unplug the circuit playground. Or maybe that's something you want to do. But you could theoretically schedule some clicks and movements to, say, have your circuit playground express play Farmville for you all the time so you never need to grind away at it. Um, so let's take a look one more time at what we've made. I've got the move left and right with the button presses, and then typing a string by pressing A1. So that wraps up this section on how to create a keyboard or mouse using cir your Circuit Playground Express. Stick around. In the next section, we're going to learn about different ways to program other than make code on your Circuit Playground.